Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the presentation demonstrating the uh, detection of brute force attack using Wazoo. The system requirements are like this. You need a Kali from where you are going to initiate the attack and then <coughs> you need a uh, one Linux <coughs> system where already the Wazoo agent has been installed and also the Windows agent, Windows uh, system where the Wazoo agent has been configured already. So I'm going to perform the attack, brute force attack on this uh, Linux system, which is uh, uh, in which the agent, also agent, is already running. <clears throat> so I need a SSH server. So let's um, install the. SSH server already um, you would have done the update and upgrade if uh, not okay let's do the update and upgrade anyhow on the Linux system <coughs> so let's wait for the update and upgrade to complete so once the update and upgrade is completed, then you can install the SSH server. So this is a command to install the SSH server, open SSH server. <laughs> Okay, then uh, start and enable the SSH service. And uh, let's check the status of the SSH, system CTL status SSH. It's active and running. Now we need uh, um, just quit and find the IP of this target system. It's 1.24. And also uh, go to the dashboard of the Wazoo and find whether this Linux uh, is active and connected. So you can open the dashboard of the Wasu from any virtual machine. Uh, just you have to enter the HTTPS, the IP address of the Wasu, and provide the credentials. So I'm opening the Wasu dashboard from the Windows, but you can open from any system. So it is taking some time to check the connections. So there are two active agents are there. Uh, this is the Bodhi Linux. It is connected and active as well as this Windows Server also connected and active. So now on the Windows uh, uh, system, Bodhi Linux, we have installed the SSH and also we have started the SSH there. So now we can start the uh, attacking process, brute force attack 
So I need a command to do the brute force attack. So I'm going to use the tool Medusa. Okay, or Hydra Medusa brute force attack command. dash u username and dash p password uh, capital P okay and then this dash m ssh so this is a command okay now let me go to the Kali so I create a username list nano okay users dot list okay I just put some users Tom Jerry Donald okay then uh, MSF admin user one and so on and Catherine uh, obviously the username uh, Barin exists in the Target so Baron control O enter control X then I create list uh, password list okay password dot list passwords dot list so password okay then one two three dollar three to one dollar four five one dollar cash one two three so like this control x control x so now let's do this command I do so uh, okay dash u capital u okay then just give the users dot list capital P pass passwords dot list dash h one nine two one six eight one dot twenty four I think so please don't target the uh, Wazoo system because Wazoo system IP is one dot twenty five our target is going to be the Linux system in which you have installed the Wazoo agent so it's going to be 192.168.1.24 this Bodhi Linux system in my case and already um, I have uh, installed the SSH open SSH server and it's actively running okay so now uh, 1.24 is going to be the target from the Kali okay then dash m the protocol is going to be ssh so now let's see the attack uh, is uh, taking place now Yeah, you can notice that the attack is successful and it has found the password. The username is Baron and the password is 123. So this is the username um, in the Bodhi Linux system and this is the password. But uh, the main purpose of this lab is the, the Wazoo has to detect this attack, right? So let's go and check the Bodhi Linux and uh, thread hunting okay so
it should be deducting the attack So in continuation with the uh, brute force attack, um, okay, let's go to the Bodhi Linux and thread hunting. Okay, the authentication failure is uh, still zero. Okay, so we have to make a small modification uh, on the OSAC file in the Linux agent. That's why the, um, lo the, the log informations are not coming to the Wasu server. So here, control W, then just press local. Okay, here, you have to add this part. Okay, so local file. Okay, then log format is syslog. Okay, then close the log format, location, slash var, slash log authentication lock so actually uh, if you go to the cd okay let's sudo su cd slash where ls cd log ls okay then uh, Okay, so here you can find your file called authentication.log. So this file contains information about the authentications, failure of authentication, success of authentication, and so on. Okay, so uh, this particular log file has to be added to the OSEC.configuration, which is in the slash var slash OSEC slash etc. Otherwise, okay, what happens? Uh, the authentication sucks. I mean, the authentication details of failure is not reaching the dashboard. So, just uh, add this uh, part, okay? and control o enter control x this should be uh, added in this uh, local file just control w search local file and come to this specific location and paste this uh, block of the xml code control x now sudo okay system CTL restart uh, Wazu agent. So Wazu agent uh, has to be restarted. So once the Wazu agent is restarted, you can go to Kali. And you can make things uh, ready there. Okay, so find what is IP address of the Linux system. 
1.24 and also check the status of the Wazoo agent system CTL. Okay, status Wazoo agent. So it's running. Control Q to exit. And now let's uh, perform the attack against uh, uh, this uh, body Linux system. So attack is going on. Already you know how we form the usage.list and password.list. Okay, so attack is going on. And now we can go to the dashboard. Okay, and just refresh. Oh, you can notice this authentication failure. It clearly shows the uh, the brute force attack. Just go to the events, and you can see SSHT attempt to log in using a non-existent user. So the rule ID is five seven one zero. Okay, and uh, so this is the brute force attack. And the brute force attack, you can see, it's keep increasing because. Uh, the attack just got finished and uh, there were many too many login attempts from the Kali system. Okay, so the Wazoo able to successfully uh, identify the identify the brute force attack. Okay, only thing is uh, earlier we were struggling in this uh, uh, that it was not showing us the uh, it was not detecting the brute force attack the reason is okay control w local reason is this particular part of the code was not existing in the osec dot configuration so this has to be added into the osec dot configuration then only uh, I mean the authentication law failure uh, details which are uh, available in the authentication dot log in the Linux system would be uh, sent to the Wasu server manager and was Wasu server manager analyzes at and uh, displays as an alert on the dashboard. So, so this is the brute force attack detection ssh brute force attack detection okay um, by the wasu server manager so with this i conclude my presentation thank you very much